What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Chaos. My name is Vlad the Tech, and today we're playing Synergia, another supposedly cyberpunk game. It's This one's more of a visual novel style, unlike Cloudpunk, and uh, it looked interesting. So, oh, that sounds so nice. All right, guinea pigs. 20 days before the Synergia incident. There was a Synergia incident. Her melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter. John Keats. You sound like a crazy person. Sir, our test model have left the lab. However, some issues arose. Issues? The convoy adjusts routes apparently due to a change that was made in the trailer's uh, autopilot after detouring from the main highway. It was then attacked not long after. What happened to the androids? One of them was destroyed by a fire inside the cargo unit. The rest were stolen during the attack, so we went down. We went. We sent a detective signal for a for our main computer, but only two of them stopped transmitting their data flow. Interesting. So there are still two fully functional models. Affirmative. We already located one of them, but the other is still missing. Is the main computer still receiving data? Yes, sir, but the location signal is coming from the far first machine. <clears throat> we believe it might have been able to disable the tracker, even though we cannot be sure without accessing the database. Well, that would be extremely risky. Definitely not. Anyway, this could be a chance to see how these models behave in a hostile environment. Keep an eye on the functioning android and make sure that it's out of danger. Find the other one. Roger that. I'll keep you informed. <laughs> Androids. Smells like ozone. Does it? 15 days before the Synergia incident. What is the Synergia incident? My schedule for today lists a six hour self accusatory depression. 12k dick. <laughs> Bill dick. <laughs> There's nothing as nice as a rainy day. At least it'd be nice, a nice day if I were home. It's not nearly as fun cooped up here in the car. There's a cloud generator right here. They do anything to get tourists still. That ozone smell is one of the best things about the district. Vega sure is taking his time. I wonder if I should go look for him. Meh, I'm good here. There he is. He's bringing us some, the smell of rain inside along with him. Although his cigarette stench soon overwhelms it. <clears throat> ah, that's sad. What took you so long? Is it serious? He lit up another cigarette, his fourth this morning. Vega doesn't displease me. I can tolerate him way more than the rest of my co-workers, but the smelly, the smell ready really gets on my nerves. Hello, uh, 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 Vega. <clears throat> that woman just kept on yammering on. Nothing important to the android. Would you mind putting out that cigarette? <clears throat> it's raining outside. I can't smoke anywhere else. Uh, you could smoke outside still. Or you could just not smoke in my... Just, you know, fuck off with the smoking, please. Take me home, then. Did I tell you the boss? Did you tell the boss? Did I tell you the boss? <clears throat> sure I did. We're doing... We're done for today. As I was saying, it was just an outdated Android. It didn't support the latest version of HoloNet. So it was giving her trouble. I hate being called for the, this kind of stuff. We did. When did we turn the, into Holonet on site technician? Tech, 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 when did we become the robot fixers? <clears throat> Blame it on the war. Companies have their hands full with all those updates. They need to keep androids safe from hackers. Then they should use old models like I do. I don't get why, why everyone is obsessed with the new ones. <clears throat> you and me both. You have to admit they're charming. People get fond of them. You used to love the old models, or so I've heard. Hmm. I wonder if he's talking about... Mm, no. No, I don't think so. I know I thought they were alive, but I grew out of it. I know. I know. It's hard to believe since my first love was an android. Somehow I believe that's going to come into play. Well, come on. 
Why do you laugh like that? Great seems like he knows of nothing. I'll have to make something up. It's true. It was the first generation commercial model handing my handing out flyers near my house. Why would you even like it? I mean, those those had most of their wires in plain view, and they did not even look human at all. I think barely around half of them passed the turning te Turing test. Well, Rule 34 and all, you know, Vega. Have you ever researched Rule 34? Some people might find robots sexy. Why you gotta be hating? It's embarrassing to think about now, but I thought all those were wires looked cute. Yeah, maybe I agree with Vega now. I was just a little girl, you know? I guess they were like toys for me. Uh, what about... What about family, then? How did you plan that to have kids with an android? Does she have to? I can't imagine my life now without my two little kids. Maybe she doesn't want any kids, Vega. Did she ever think about that? <clears throat> Vega takes every single chance to boast about his kids and how natural they are. Natural. That's a weird boast. I'll probably end up with implants with every nook and, in every nook and cranny, though. Just like everyone else. Okay, yeah. I know this might surprise you, but I wasn't exactly planning on having kids when I could still count my age with my fingers. And to this day, having kids still isn't one of my priorities. There! See? I get- I get women sometimes. That's what I thought. Don't you ever feel love, lonely, all by yourself in that shack? No, that's what the internet is for. Going out to a bar and saying hi to friends. Inviting friends over. Inviting special friends over. Prostitution. Why do you even care? <clears throat> Besides, I'm not alone. I live with my android. And he does things to me. <laughs> right, your android. Uh, you just told me it's an old model. Are you sure that can keep you company? Don't, don't judge. Don't judge. Don't judge. You had, you created pseudo-parasites with, uh, with another human. No, it's just there to water my plants. And other things. Of course it's company for me. <laughs> <laughs> and many other more things. Many, many more things. Thanks, huh? You're not breaking any laws, are you, Scylla? Maybe the attraction for machines wasn't just puppy love, after all. Gives me a glance out of the corner of his eye, looking almost haughty. I know he's fishing for a specific answer. It's not like I haven't thought about it before. Having a crush on an android decades ago it doesn't mean I want to fuck every single piece of scrap I find. Only the cute ones. Okay, okay, geez, it was a joke. You don't have to get like that. I just wanted to know if you want to know too much. It's shitty company. Are you happy now? You just leave it at that. I don't want to talk about this anymore, so just shut your face. I knew it. If you ever need any... Okay, that's wrong. I knew it. If you ever need any need to hang out with a flesh and blood person, you know, with a real penis, uh, just tell me. You you can have dinner with with us and my penis. <laughs> Never in a million years, sorry. But my penis! Just think about it, alright? Think about it. All of it. It's important that our group stays healthy and ununited, you know? What's, you know what's, what, you know what, it, it'd, it'd be good. The group is also good for in for the individual. I know. I've read the manual too. I just don't like family dinners, that's all. Just try to cheer up. I don't want you watching over my back whilst you're moping. Again, it was just an automatic medical checkup. Those things mess up all the time. Besides, your life is completely different from mine. That's why you don't understand me. <clears throat> <laughs> He hit the nail on the head. My android isn't exactly the best company, and I have to take care of my health by myself. Still, it's not something I want to talk about with him. You're right, I can't understand you. But I know someone who does. You Have you talked to Darla from Velta Labs? Not really. She's weird. Besides, I'd rather avoid Velta as much as I can. I spent way too many years of my life with them. <clears throat> I still think you should know... You should get to know her. 
Just because you're working for a big corporation doesn't necessarily mean you're they're evil. Look at you. You're working for an amazing company, yet you're still a pain in the ass. Very funny. She doesn't come with uh, with us often anyways. Actually, she requested to join our unit. I'm come I'm going to convince our boss to send her out with us. Try to be friends with her. I can't make any promises. I, I don't even promise to try on this one. There's some things I don't understand. You don't trust androids, yet you're really interested in working with them. How exactly did you get into this section? <clears throat> the boss is friends with my brother. A crony? Really? Ah. Uh, hey, someone had to take the job. And it's not like I'm qualified. It's not like I'm not qualified. They usually do a competition for those. I had to pass a test. You take a ch any you take any chance you can get, and it hasn't been too hard for you either. I guess. We get closer to my house. That huge apart that huge apartment block that reminds me more of a hive than a real home. Vega parks the car in front of my building. <clears throat> See you tomorrow. Hey, think about what I said. Go out, take a walk, and just and just don't stay at home all day. It's not good for you. Think about my penis. Yeah, yeah. The building is quiet as ever. Something I deeply appreciate. I walk up the concrete stairs leading to my door. I can hear Elaine opening it. What am I going to see when I... Hi. Hello, Sela. Hello. I'm making assumptions about, uh, Sela. Just right off the bat for reasons. My day has been great as always. I finished all my tasks and in record in record time. I also cooked you the cooked the noodles you like. <clears throat> noodles? I'm on board. Weren't we having meat today? Uh I forgot to buy it, sorry. Okay, is that a random event? Delete the personality feature. I'm going to change. Sure, bad memory feature eliminated. Oh well this just got interesting. I thought I'd erase all those random events over the years. To be honest, I ended up regretting it every single time. <clears throat> Elaine's ended up as boring as a piece of scrap. As boring, ended up as a boring piece of scrap. And while that's part, partly my fault, I can't stand it when she tries to act human-like. I'm done, Elaine. I want to ask you something. Go ahead. Doesn't it bother you to erase your own personality little by little? I'm just doing what you asked me to. How can you keep me good company, then? What if I'm wrong? My analysis says that you are healthy. The odds of incorrect orders are very low. Besides, I always have to f follow the orders of my master, unless they require harming an another human. Ah, the three laws of robotics. What if all these personality changes or change orders are actually indirectly harming me? Your order, your cold behavior is affecting my mood. Partly. Yeah, that's it. I'm not responsible for psychological harm caused to humans due to the following of their orders. I know. I just thought your AI was more... Whatever. I was just messing with you. Don't worry about it. I am not. The rule... <clears throat> applies strictly to physical damage. My mere existence is enough to harm more humans feeling human feelings wise. What's your generational lane? Second. You were definitely top of the line back then. You haven't aged well. <clears throat> it has been some years since I have had a good maintenance. Your food is getting cold. Please let me heat it up a little bit. Whatever, I'm not hungry. Uh, this is creepy. I sit on the couch on the TV and put it on the news. Elaine has always liked to listen to it. I even recall her asking me to let her watch. It's one of her personality features I'll never erase. I'd hate to I hate it even more if I if she acted completely brainless. Besides, her strict logic comes in handy when I need to some explanations. The Emperor's Paradise is currently taking place in the Conqueror Square. 
It seems like the leaders of the Republican Party are absent again. Oh, thank God. Don't you think it's strange to have empires and emperors in this age? It's almost anachronistic. Well, it is a multicultural country in a state of constant expansion ruled by an emperor. I think calling it an empire is correct. <clears throat> a lot of people love the emperor. If only they knew. Do you know? Know what? He's a cyborg. Is he? <clears throat> yes, my team went to his place once. The emperor got a sex android <laughs> harem. Well, this got good. And he himself half machine. There's actually a council ruling in the background. They just keep him on as public as a public face. A harem? Was it not that sex with the android was made illegal? Uh, sure was. Banned by the emperor himself. When they doth protest too much, they are probably guilty of the thing they doth protest. During the parade, three members of the terrorist group White Cat were arrested. All of them veterans from the Expansion Army. Seems like there's still some members out there. Do you know them? They are a terrorist group, right? Yeah. They used to give us a lot of trouble. They've always been very skilled. They're veterans, after all. But for some reason, they disappeared. Did they disappear, or did someone make them disappear? My team had a couple of missions and managed to get rid of them. Rid of a few of them. But it might have something to do with improvements to brain chips. The real threats threat are now now are androids, not cyborgs. Do you think I'm a threat? Not you exactly. I mean androids just generally. You are indeed a threat, and any and always have been. Androids are just as dangerous for the human race as much as humans themselves. But it doesn't mean we're going to get go extinct. <clears throat> Our laws say laws prevent any danger, sure. But those laws are there just because a programmer decided to put them in. Any programmer could make a murderous android. Well, not any programmer. But a really good one could do it. <clears throat> Still. That's enough. Uh, suspending interest feature. I hope I did not hurt you. Hurt me. No way. Now, let me watch TV. You're a strange robot. What could have made her ask that question? Maybe it's a security protocol. Hey, Elaine. Uh, why did you ask if your action hurt me? I have to look after your health. That's so. A factor from the company's smart movement has been closed after discovering the vehicles were being hacked to drive to the docks. Where a body was trafficking where a body trafficking gang would capture humans and androids alike and take them over the yellow sea. I guess the beta team did not did a lousy job. They shouldn't have let anyone know about the factory closure before getting the traffickers. Now they won't get anyone. Mr. Joanne Schaefer has been declared innocent after the prosecutors failed to prove his ties to the presence of synthetic workers at the uh, Wabamach, Wabamach Brothers bro, brothels. Mm, that sounds like a great future. Hypocrites. Doing it with the robots must be absolutely wonderful seeing how popular those brothels have become. Elaine, would you ever have sex with me? I mean, if you could have had sex organs. Well, I have to follow your orders, so I guess I... Okay, well. Uh, this got awkward real fast. The ban on sexual intercourse is one of the most important laws in the in new models, didn't you know? Why is that so important? Is that why you do not want to upgrade me? Are you thinking of having sexual intercourse with me? She probably wasn't before, but I think she is now. <clears throat> of course not. Besides, as I just said, you don't have sexual organs. But with a little imagination... Do you want me to do something, Sila? We're just going to leave that blank for now. You just have to order it, but I have to remind you of what the law says about it. And even if you have been 
de devoid of affection for quite a while, you could always get in legal human brothels in the city. There are human brothels? So there are human brothels. There are robo-brothels. You can have sex with your robot, but you can't have sex with your robot. And the emperor of the world is having sex with robots. I was not expecting this when I loaded this game up. Uh, to be honest, I had no idea. I wasn't suggesting anything. And where did that affection thing come from? Leave me alone. I see you're upset. Do you want... Shut up. I clench my fist and try to calm myself down. It's not the first time she's gotten on my nerves. Every time I try to talk to her, she drives me insane. It's alright. Tell me if you need anything. Fast food chain Old Days has been forced to close three of their restaurants until they upgrade <clears throat> to serve cyborg meals. The new artificial nutrition laws enforce every establishment to serve this kind of meal. This is new. This new regulation is also causing big problems from the owners of small businesses who can't afford to the newly mandated facilities. I take some noodles. Elaine prepared. They're pretty good. Maybe I should thank uh, thank her for it. But thinking about it. She wouldn't care if I thank her or not. She, I shouldn't bother. Parody has shown their new line of women's lingerie. Ooh, I like this story. Ranging from the most suggestive panties to collars, even a whole new section of ropes and bondage attire. Where's this again? Uh, Parody. Uh, where's this? Where? Where's street? Where's the street? Let's go. We go. We go now. We go now. Today, Corporate Industries has launched the new memory chip model. A large amount of students are currently wanting in line, waiting in line in front of their stores to be the first ones to try it. The creator of the chips hopes that, thinks, thinks of this, a new era will dawn from all, for Alzheimer's patients and students with bad memories. Universal basic income has now been completely implemented in the district of Atlas. I'm moving to Atlas. This has led led to riots in poorer districts as they claim they need that income more than, any, than the developed districts. The riots were put to an end by the police a few hours later. Why wouldn't you just, like... Jeff, if, you, if it's universal basic income, then it's for everyone. But, but why not just, like, cap it off after a certain income? Because clearly you wouldn't need universal basic income at that point. So... Hours pass as if they were minutes. All the weariness I brought with me was left at that my doorstep. As always, the sun comes up and I haven't managed to get a second of sleep. Elaine has been looking at me all night again. Elaine probably wants to do things. Sisters. 14 days before the Synergy event. What is the incident? <clears throat> For we live by faith, not by sight. Bullshit. I don't you dare, don't you dare quote Bible on me. I do not live by faith. I reject it every second of it. I get up off the couch. Another dose. Uh, better. What is that? What is that? If somebody who knows chemistry, please, please tell me what the hell that is. Oh. She's high as fuck. Elaine, the time. Good morning. It's quarter past nine. Shit, I'd better check out the holonet. Did you sleep in again, Sila? I've been waiting out here for ten minutes. Sorry, sorry, I'm coming. I dress as fast as I can, and I leave my place without eating breakfast. Vega's car, Vega's in the car, waiting for me in the usual spot. You can't oversleep every single day, Sila. It is when you're in, I can't when I'm just... Ah, screw you. I'm sorry, I'll tell... I'll tell them it was my fault. <laughs> I can't be here to keep you in line all the time. It's not your fa I'm not your father, you know. I already said I'm sorry. Besides yesterday, we got back into my house very late. It's not my fault. I'm not getting enough sleep. Ogre division in charge of the paper is in charge of the paperwork today, so we should get back early. This could be our last case together, you know. You've been promoted. 
I'm getting replaced. I'm sorry, Isila, but they don't trust you. And I think neither do I. Are you shitting me? Then what was the whole thing yesterday? Fuck you. The boss has been informed. Don't worry about it. I'm, I've, and if I were you, I'd try to change. Things might get bad for you if you don't. Vega, what the fuck are you talking about? Come on, Zila. You need, you know you're wrong. I'm just trying to help you. I'm getting replaced by the girl t I talked about, talked to you about yesterday. Darla, you're going to like her. <clears throat> so that's what the, so that's what that talk was about. What the, what does he think he is? Who does he think he is? He can't trust me? What the hell? You're an asshole, really. Go around, go, you go around telling me how to live my life when you're just a bitter family man. So shut the fuck up for once, Vega. Go on, keep acting self-centered as you always do, you know? You know I'm... I'm not your daughter, Vega. Go lecture someone else. You don't even know. Vega slams the brakes and pulls over. Get out of the car, Sila. Can't believe it. The hell I am. This car isn't yours. It's the company's. But the company put me in charge. So get out of the car. The office is just a few blocks away. Walk it and cool yourself down a bit. Just start the car again. Get out of the fucking car, Sila. Okay. Why is everything black? Hello? Oh god, okay, yeah. Oh, I had to hit the space bar. They get out of the car and slam the door shut, and I'm still trying to process what's going on. Everything was so sudden. <clears throat> god damn it! A few pedest pedestrians stare at me, but they go back to their routes a few seconds later. I guess I'll have to walk this to the station. It's kind of cold, so I didn't put on warm, warm enough clothes. I still didn't understand why Vega did that, but if he doesn't trust me, then I suppose it's better to if he leaves. Now I'm going to have to see him all day. That fucking asshole. I arrive at the building and walk up to the room where the boss is waiting for us. Everyone's in their seats today. Everyone's in their seats, and today's cases have already started to be assigned. Let again, Sila. Sorry, Lieutenant. <clears throat> I decided to stand up by the window. I don't really feel like listening to this. He's assigning the cases one at a time, and it doesn't seem like there's anything big today. Just as usual. Androids keep getting more reliable. Nothing ever happens inside the borders. Sometimes I wonder if I should enlist in the foreign forces instead. Sila! Sila! So you're not just tardy. You're distracted, too. I'm listening, sir. Uh, I don't have enough time to repeat the whole cause case all over again. Kyle will tell you the details in the van. Kyle? Vega's replacement. Uh, I thought it, it was that was going to be Darla. It's complicated. They'll explain it to you. I walk down to the parking lot. The other groups are already leaving it. It seems like my new parent partner is waiting for me in the van. I get inside from the walk from the back and try to get comfortable. Are you Kyle? That's right. Where's Darla? She couldn't come. She's joining us in a few days. Is Vega coming with us? He's no longer part of our unit. So he went to the site in his own car. From now on, we'll be using the van. I get it. Whatever. Tell me about the mission. It's a married couple. The woman, Christine, is 40 years old, and the man, Felix, is 43. The woman called a few hours ago, claiming her android had taken her husband hostage. <laughs> Interesting. They're locked in the bedroom, and the android refuses to let him go. 
there aren't any records of or proof of purchase for the Android, so I suspect it might have come from the black market. That's probably the source of the problem. It's going to be hard to deal with the unregulated Android, especially if they're strong enough to keep kin to kidnap an adult man. So what's your role here? Back up. And why do I even need a sniper? Safety. I can't help but notice that the Velta Labs logo on his arm. He works with them too, just like Darla. <clears throat> hey, why am I getting gro grouped with the Velta mercenaries? Dollar's going to explain it to you tomorrow. Don't worry, we're not mercenaries. Sure. After a few moment, minutes of silence and we arrived at the building. It's a fairly standard apartment complex. Kyle gets on the rooftops of the building in front and stands guard from here. I take the elevator to the floor where the couple lives. Okay. So I'm going to save. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to save this here, and uh, I'm going to continue it at a later date. So far, this seems interesting. There's a lot of implications around cyborgs, as well as, you know, are you allowed to, 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 uh, are you allowed to, uh, are you allowed to like your robots more than a friend? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Actually, don't. But leave a comment in the comment section down below. Just not about that. <laughs> also, you can check out the Discord server, which will be linked in the description, along with Coffee and Patreon, to help support the channel that way, so I can have more time to make awesome videos like this. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, feel free to shout me some love down below by hitting the like button, and don't forget to check out the annotations for more videos. Now, see you in the next video.